Hey everybody, Billy from Billy's Bike Adventures. Thanks for tuning in today and watching the video. Now this toolbox arrived for me in the post the other day. It's actually the second one that I've had in recent times and I'll tell you why I've had to change in a little bit, in a little while. Um, but I'm gonna tell you about this one and the other one that I've had, give you some information about it and I'll put all the information down in the description below as well as links for it as well. So if that's of some interest, keep watching and let's get into it. If you're not subscribed to Billy's Bike Adventures yet, click the red subscribe button, the bell notification, and then all to make sure you don't miss out on any updates. Now, for those of you that are genuinely interested in knowing more about this product, let's talk a little bit about it now. So um, the volume size for this one is five liters, or approximately five liters, versus the plastic and stainless steel one that's around about 4.2 liters. Uh, this is made of anodized aluminum or anodized aluminum for our North America friends. So uh, because of that, it's gonna weather all year round, no problem at all. And is attached to your uh, bike frame um, with brackets that attach to the top and to the side. So let's now have a look and see uh, how much kit I can actually get into this five litre volume uh, box. Now, uh, I haven't, there's, a, there's a little bit of space left, so you could actually get something else in here, but uh, let's just have a look, see what I've got in here. So what I can actually fit in this is a, is a puncture repair kit and a tire inflator kit. I've got two bags here to be able to remove the wheels off my bike, break the bead on the bike, change the tires, and put them back on. So those two bits of kit there, they're from Eastbound. I'm gonna do a review of those later. I've got a, a Leatherman, and I've got two uh, kind of Allen key sets. So one is a Torx and one is a hex head. So actually, all in all, you can pretty much fit quite a lot in these boxes. And as, as I said, this toolbox had a little bit of space left in it. So uh, not, not a bad size and a, not a bad for the amount of kit that you can get into them. So let's talk about the price of these toolboxes first of all. So let's talk first of all about the plastic and stainless steel one. So as you can see, there are two versions on screen. The one on the left is the one from Toratec. The one on the right is from uh, probably uh, China. I think, it, I think it was China where I got it from. Uh, now, as you can see, they are literally identical in every single way, except that is for the price. The one on the left, the Torotec one, runs in at £133 on the Torotec website. The one on the right runs in at £63. So I'm not sure what the additional cost is for the uh, additional £70 for the Torotec one is. I can't really see that much benefits in terms of cost. So I'm not sure why you would buy the Torotec one when there is one that is £70 cheaper uh, from China. It might just take you a little bit longer to get. Uh, but £70 cheaper, I, I think, is worth the wait. Now, compare that to this one, the uh, anodized aluminium one. This runs in at £49, £49.85 pence on the Wish website. So uh, a good price for this um, for, for this aluminium anodized uh, toolbox. So it's, it's not only is it bigger, but it's also cheaper as well. You may have to factor in postage as well, but it's still going to work out cheaper, I think, anyway. Now the fitting of this is simply with two U-shaped brackets that uh, attach to the frame on your bike or the luggage frame on your bike, four nuts and bolts, and they are positioned on these two brackets here. So let's get that done and see what it looks like. So there we go, toolbox fitted on the bike now. I think it looks really, really nice. Quite like this one. However, the plastic and stainless steel one did just as good a job. Now, just remember that's 4.2 liters. This one is five liters and the price difference on this one is a little bit cheaper as well. So I have no affiliation with the companies that make this at all. So uh, whichever one you decide to buy, there's no, there's no affiliations for me from, from that. So the links are in the description below if you want to check out both of those products. Uh, which, whichever one you go for, I hope it works out for you. Uh, so that's it for today. Thumbs up if you like the video. Also share with somebody else that might be thinking about purchasing a toolbox but for now thank you very much for watching and i will catch you again very soon